Hello again. In this video we continue uh, looking at um, doing graphics in our GUIs in Scala. And in particular I want to focus on one of the settings of Graphics 2D. So last time we wrote a little program and our program had the ability to draw a little rectangle. It came out on a white background and it was kind of a grayish black rectangle and it was pretty boring. Uh, we want to look at how we can draw more things, so we're going to look at the Graphics 2D class itself, and then also look at how we can change settings on it, in particular the paint setting. So in order to figure out this information, you need to go look at the API. And in particular, we want to look inside of the, the Java API and the package java.awt. So if you pull up the Java API, there's java.awt here, and inside of here is that class graphics 2d that we utilized in the last video and there's a fair bit of documentation at the top of this which you could certainly go about reading uh, the graphics 2d is a representation of how you can draw things and so last time I called fill rect which happens to be listed down here because it comes from another type called graphics so there's a fill rect here. In general for graphics 2D, what you actually use are the methods draw and fill, which take items of type shape. So you create a shape object. Now, what are shape objects? Turns out there's another package here, java.awt.geom, and it has a bunch of different shapes for you. So we could go and we could modify the code that we wrote last time, and instead of using the fill rect, which is kind of the, the older way of drawing things, I will create myself a new rectangle. Uh, it's using the class from inside of here, where we had, so inside of java.abt.geom, there is a Rectangle 2D, and it has a class declared inside of it called uh, double. Uh, there's a double and a float, and they just store the, the data differently. It's whether they use doubles to store it or whether they use floats to store it. For our purposes, we're perfectly happy with the doubles, and that is the default uh, floating point numeric type. So, so it's just easy to use the rectangle 2D.double. And just like before, it takes four arguments for a uh, minimum X location, minimum Y location, width, and height. Now, the fact that I just said that those are both minimums might confuse you a little bit. And here is, whoops, we need to do an import. Import java.awt.geom.underscore. That should make that happy. The fact that I say that this is the minimum x, minimum y, uh, might confuse some of you because from math classes you would say no this is the minimum x minimum y but you saw that I started counting at the top left and so I went over and down so x grows across just like you're used to but in graphics coordinates y starts at the top and grows down and you might wonder why this is uh, there's a very simple historical reason for it the original graphical displays were pieces of printed paper and when you think of a piece of paper where does the printer start printing? It starts printing at the top. And so you would measure lines down from the top of the page, and that convention has just stuck uh, so that all graphics coordinates, the y-axis grows downward. It's just something that you kind of have to, to get used to in switching between uh, mathematical representations and programming representations of, of coordinate systems. Okay, so here I'm using the general fill, and I am drawing a rectangle. Now the one problem with this is that, it's kind of boring, uh, I have a dark gray rectangle on, on a white background, and what I would like to do is add a little bit of splash of color to it. So if we go back into here, uh, in the Graphics 2D, in addition to having the ability to draw and fill things, and you can see there's a number of other draw methods that we'll come back and we will look at, there are also a number of different set methods where you can set different properties of how things are drawn. So by default, the color that you draw in is that dark gray. Okay. So the first setting I want to talk about and how we can change it is the paint setting. 
So this is, we're going to use it to change the color of stuff, but it turns out that paint is more general than that. Color is a subtype of paint, but there are a number of other subtypes of paint uh, that we can look at as well. So if we come back to our code here, say I didn't want my rectangle to just be black, I could also make it so that it was, I don't know, red. Now I'm using the word color here, don't remember perfectly yet if that is automatically going to be found, it is not. So I need to import this. Now color happens to be in java.awt and I am going to actually import java.awt.color and not java.awt.underscore. There's a very good reason for that. Turns out that the java.awt package, so if we click back here, happens to have a type in it called list. So in uh, our Scala APIs, when we want to display a list of things, we used a list view. In the Java API, they didn't call it list view, they just called it list. Well, if I import everything from java.awt, that's going to hide the list that we normally use in Scala, and it's going to give us the list for java.awt, and I don't want to do that. So this is one place where I'm definitely not going to import all the contents of a package. I'm only going to import the specific things that I need. So that's something you should be wary of. You should probably not generally import all of, jo of java.awt. AWT. So I have that imported, and now when I run this, sure enough, I get a red rectangle instead of the dark gray one. And we could also fill in a second element. I'm going to go with an ellipse for our second element, and I'm going to put it a little bit further over and give it a size of 100 by 200 so that you can see what this looks like, where it pops up. Okay, so for the ellipse, what you're specifying is the top right corner of the bounding rectangle. So 300, 200 is actually right over here. It's not in the ellipse at all. And it draws the ellipse that fills up a rectangle, which I told it to go 100 for the width and 200 for the height. Okay. But what if I want this ellipse to appear as a different color? Uh, well, I could just do something like this, and instead of red, I could pick blue. In case you're wondering, so what colors do I have access to? Turns out you can mix your own colors and make whatever you want, because when you create a color type, you can give it red, green, and blue values. But as you can see here, there are quite a few that are predefined for you. Black, blue, cyan, a number of grays, green, uh, magenta, orange, pink, red, and yellow. Um, so I'm going to generally use those because they're easier, but there are some applications for which you want to create them and you want to give them your own values for red, green, and blue. And that's how you mix colors uh, on, on a computer. And definitely some of the exercises that, that we have play with this. We'll also play with this a little bit more when we start dealing with, with images. Um, but I'm actually interested in trying one of these other types of paints, something that's more interesting. So for example, maybe I want to do, let's do a linear gradient paint. Uh, and you can see what this, the type of effect that a linear gradient paint can have. The linear gradient paint, uh, it was added in Java 1.6, so you have to be using a fairly recent version of, of Java to, to use it, but inevitably you are. When we build one of these, we have to give it a starting location, the X and the Y location where it starts the gradient, an X and a Y location where it finishes the gradient, and then some fractions, so what fraction of the way between the start and the end that the color transitions happen, and then a set of colors. And if we click here, we can check. Uh, uh, so there are some requirements on here. Uh, you cannot give it null arrays. And it will also tell you that you have an illegal argument if the lengths of the fractions and the colors aren't the same, because all the fractions that you specify in there, you have to have a matching color for. 
or if uh, colors is less than two in size, or if you give it a fraction that isn't between zero and one, because it's supposed to be located in between the start and the end. So let's go ahead and let's utilize that. And so instead of doing set paint of a color, I'm going to make a new linear gradient paint. And in fact, let's go to make sure this will work nicely. Look at where that's located. It's inside of java.awt. So that's going to require another import. And here, instead of typing the full import out again, I'm going to use one of these other shortcuts that Scala provides for us. Where if you're importing multiple things, and you don't want to import everything with the underscore, but you just want multiple names, you can make a comma separated list and put it inside of curly braces. So, well, my ellipse goes from 300, 200. Uh, so I'm going to start my gradient here. And then I am going to say, I don't know, let's make it so it goes, I'm going to make the gradient go straight down. So I'm going to make it go down just 50 and 0. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, I want an end point here, I believe. Let's check the API again. Yeah, these are just endpoints. So then down 50 would be 350, and I want to use the same Y position. And now I need to give it an array of float. And actually, let's just go with an array. It will figure out that it's floats if I give it some values in here. So I'm going to put just one color in the middle. And the colors I'm going to use are color dot green, color dot blue, color dot magenta. That gives us an interesting sampling of colors. Uh, let's see if I have that all typed in correctly. Mm. Apparently I've forgot to, I'm missing one closed parentheses there. Okay. Let me run that. Okay, and here we go. So uh, I went out to 350 with the gradient, and you'll notice that this is solid. The API shows you that. So there's another constructor that has an extra item on here, a cycle method. And you can see from inside of the documentation so by default, we get no cycle. We could also set it to be uh, reflect or repeat if we wanted to. Let's say that I wanted this to be, uh, to use a reflect. Well, then there are inside of this multiple gradient paint, there's different cycle methods. And so if I want to add that into my code, first I need to insert multiple gradient paint. Actually, I guess I could type in the long name down below. Multiple gradient paint. No, I, I will need the import unless I want to type in a really long name. insert dot cycle method uh, and this point you can probably go to their descriptions let's see did they give any examples of that oh that was very not nice of them Go ahead and look to make certain that we have a good name for this. Uh, reflect in all caps. And now it reflects it. So it does the 50, first 50 pixels 
going in the direction we had the color set for, and then the next uh, were going backwards. There are other gradients that you could use. Um, the linear gradient paint can be fun. One of my favorite ones is the radial gradient paint as far as you can create some very interesting effects in here using a radial gradient. Another one is a texture paint and we will come back and look at that later on because we need to know how to talk about images first. So we have now shown you um, how you generally use the Graphics 2D using fill and draw. We'll come back and talk about draw more next time. Uh, and how we can pass shapes into these. So for example, the rectangle and the ellipse and that java.awt.geom has a lot of other possibilities for you, uh, including some other things that we can build like general paths. We'll probably play with those in a bit. And there are also some fun things you can do with areas. And we looked at how we can set the first setting on here, the paint, so that we can change how things are drawn. And we did both a basic color and a more interesting linear gradient paint as well. So that's it for this video. We'll come back next time and we'll talk about yet another setting that exists on the, uh, on the Graphics 2D so that we can change how things are drawn.